So years ago, there was this place, it was called Obijuang, and it was a very sacred place on Manitoulin Island. And of course, a lot of people um, that lived in Obijuang, they were spiritual people, and it was known as a spiritual center. And so the people that lived there, you know, they were always doing ceremonies, they were always praying, and, you know, they weren't a war people, they never, you know, went into treaty, and they were, they wanted to be left alone just to do their Anishinaabe way. And during a ceremony years and years ago, a pipe started to make a weird noise. And nobody could understand what this pipe was saying. And so the oldest pipe keeper put medicine in people's ears so they could hear this pipe. And what that pipe said was that a great big man was coming and that this man had two serpents in his arms. And each serpent represents a government and that this man was going to come and steal the children and that we have to tie feathers in our children's hair so that they'll be able to find their way back home you know after they were taken and they actually went to a place called the Sini Swasening which means the rock nest they went to this rock a very sacred place and they start to paint this man on there, but they also painted the child with the feathers in the hair. And so I created this image based on, on that story that, you know, we're, we're now we're dealing with these two governments that are stealing our children. And it's a, this is a reminder that we have to tie feathers in our children's hair, but also that we have to stand up against this evil man. And we have to take control of our communities and our families again. And part of that is to, you know, to build up our traditional systems. So instead of trying to tear down, you know, the colonial systems, you know, it's probably more stronger if we build up our own systems from the ground up. And so that's what this symbol represents. It's a grassroots image that represents, you know, that the people have the, the power and that we have to protect our children and that we have to believe that when we put our faith in each other and when we put our faith into our own governance, that it becomes a powerful thing and that we can save children, we can save lives.